How's it going guys? I'm here today with a very cool pedal from Hegerman Amplification. Um, they sent over this uh, prototype. It's uh, technically um, going to be in a smaller enclosure once the design is finalized, but from what Jim has indicated, this is basically where he's, uh, he's happiest with this design and it's extremely simple. Um, it's a single preamp tube, uh, 12A7, 12AY7, AT7. I think it came with an AY7. I've got a 5751, it's in a uh, new old stock GE tube. And I really like the way this tube sounds in here. And I think the cool thing about pedals like this is that you can do some experimentation with the tubes that you put in there. If you want a different sound, a different uh, output level, uh, things like that, you can you can experiment with these. It kind of reminds me of my really old uh, THD univalve amp that I had with a single power tube that you could really get nuts and experiment with lots of different power tubes. And because you only had to buy one, you could afford to buy these vintage tubes to see what all the hype was about. So anyways, it has a single preamp tube and a level knob and the power switch. And that's it. It gives you more sound when you turn it on. And so what we're gonna, I'm gonna go through the Britone SLO Plus here. I'm gonna focus mainly on the normal channel. Uh, this is a great boost, but it sounds really good. You can really hear what the pedal does when you have it in a lower gain uh, setting. So I'm gonna see here what we can do with the clean channel, uh, the normal channel. We're gonna start off squeaky clean, and then we're gonna bump it to the crunch channel so you can hear it boosting in overdrive. And uh, I also have played it through the Super Elite, and it sounds great through that. It's basically like adding another preamp gain stage to the amp. So um, let's start here with the uh, with the Britone, and like I said, it's on the clean channel. It's is uh, the squeaky clean, and we're gonna sit here and play around with the amp and the pedal and see what kind of sounds we can get. So here we go. take it up a little bit. If you have it down below uh, the halfway, it tends to cut the output a little bit. So right there around noon is basically unity for this thing. So take a little bit past noon here. Get this is off. I'm on the crunch mode now, and we're gonna see how it sounds with a little bit of uh, gain already coming out of the amp. This is just a very tiny little gain. Just a touch of break up there.
gonna take it back around a little past noon and we're gonna introduce a little bit more gain from the amp. So this is what it's gonna sound like, just the amp. Just a little, give it a little bit more. pushed JCM 800 or uh, I'd say more of a JTM 45 type sound or a 50 watt plexi type thing. Reminds me a lot of my JTM 45 before I had the Jose mods put in there. up here. So this, at this point, this is kind of what this thing is going to do for a kind of like a clean boost, but it's not really clean. It's, it's a little dirty. It's got that, that gain from the tube that is pushing in there. So it's not a full on distortion but it's more of a overdrive than a pure clean boost so you are getting some gain from it so here we go this is put it right back at noon here and let's see what it does Give it turn on the noise gate there. Um, it's noisy because I'm like right next to this amp. Usually this amp is whisper quiet, so let's give it a little bit more so you can hear it making more of a difference, more of an impact on that sound. So we're gonna take it to eh, not quite three o'clock. is off. <laughs> Thank 
over to the overdrive channel on the amp. It's going to be kind of similar to what you just heard, but maybe with a little bit of different structure to the sound. All right, this is the overdrive channel of the Britain. <laughs> got the gain super low on this so that you can really hear the pedal kicking in because obviously the more gain I throw from the amp then the less of an impact you'll hear from the actual pedal itself so here we go <laughs> I'm in drop detuning now, and I'm going to show you what it does with maybe a little bit more gain from the amp. Uh, as you heard earlier, it does still make a good impact with a moderate amount of gain, but the more gain you add from the amp, the less of the pedal you're going to hear. Um, but for the sake of demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you what it does. Anyways, I've got the level at 3 o'clock, and the gain on the amp is at 2, which for the amp is already a lot. You know, these... SLO circuits, you either get like basically no gain or all the gain. So here we go.
right guys, well that wraps it up. And I really enjoyed playing this pedal and really seeing what it can do with different types of sounds for the amps, different amps and things like that. I think there's a good, uh, good amount of flexibility that you get with this thing, depending on what you're after. And the fact that it can stay relatively clean and just put a little bit of extra oomph in your sound or really push it hard with some gain, uh, it, it comes across as a very flexible piece that a lot of players I feel like uh, can adapt into their sound and their pedal board and things like that. Speaking of adapting into your pedal board, I think once the final version of this thing is out and it's in a much smaller enclosure, it's gonna be uh, a lot more attractive uh, for a lot of us who I think basically all of us, um, the pedal board space is at a premium these days. And, um, I for one really don't, I don't, I don't need a humongous NASA control center, uh, size pedal board. Um, it's one reason why I got the line six HX, uh, stomp is to kind of get rid of some pedals and, uh, get a little bit of that real estate back. Um, but anyways, check out check out the website and I don't know when the final version of this pedal is coming. Um, but Jim has shown me pictures of what looks like a final product. So it could be out already by now, by the time this video goes up. But anyways, I think if you're going to be using it with a clean amp, it can really add a good volume boost in front of the amp, uh, as well as a little bit of gain. If you've got a moderately amount of moderate amount of gain from your amp, say, like a really kind of pushed Fender or uh, an old Marshall or something like that, it does really well as functioning as essentially an extra gain stage of preamp tube overdrive or gain. Um, it worked really well with the with my Plexi for that. And as you heard with the low gain crunch uh, mode on the Brit Tone, it, it does very well. Um, anyways, that's going to wrap it up. I'm done talking. I uh, hope you enjoyed the playing. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, I'd appreciate the, uh, the like and go ahead and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.